Hi, I'm Chris Southern. We're going to take a look at using Smart Meeting Pro software and we're going to look at using the ink within Microsoft PowerPoint. So as you can see on the screen at the moment, we're in editing mode. So if I pick up a pen now and decide that we need to put an additional word onto this slide, I can simply pick up the pen and say that we need a welcome introduction onto the slide there. So I can mark this up so that when we review this at the end, we can adjust all this PowerPoint presentation. Now the ink that we're using in here, you can see by the toolbar up here, is Microsoft ink. So it's using its own ink and you can see across the top here all the different options such as changing pen colour. So if I change it to red now and pick up the pen, it will write in red using the Microsoft ink. So it gives you the facility to go through all the different slides and work and annotate as a group over the top and make your choices and decisions and then when you've embedded the ink onto the file, you can then send it off to the rest of the team to get agreement and make the changes. If you move from editing mode into full screen mode, then we get a different use of the applications and the ink. So what we have here is we have our own floating toolbar, which I'm going to uh, brighten up a little bit there for us. So we've got the floating toolbar with some obvious things like move forward a page, backwards a page, so we can go through the presentation. We also have a pointer. The pointer is actually very useful if people are joined into this through a collaboration session. So remote people will have the facility to use the pointer if you select it for them and they can point out specific areas they're discussing as you go through. The beauty of this toolbar is you get all the facilities that you would normally get in Microsoft PowerPoint, but you also get additional ones as well. So over here are all your usual smart um, PowerPoint um, presentation tools. So you can bring up PowerPoint menus to end show. You can even bring up PowerPoint ink tools. So if you want to use one of the ones you normally use, like a highlighter pen, you can still select that and work within this area. The advantage, though, of having the additional smart ink within there mixed in with the PowerPoint selection is the facility to be able to interact more with the screen. So this means that if I now use the transparent mode, so that will make this so it is very faint so it doesn't get in the way of the presentation, as a team or a group working on a PowerPoint, even in presentation mode, we can still pick up pens and we can select that and say, you know, that should be 25% and areas like that. If we move on a slide, we can then work on here. If I go back a slide, you'll find that the ink is still on the slide. So you don't lose the ink as you move through the presentation. So all these tools make a normal PowerPoint presentation, which a lot of us have had to sit through numerous slides for numerous hours and sit and watch and not take part. It makes it a far more interactive presentation where things can be added, people can take part, and remote collaboration people can also write and annotate onto the screen.